Hi, my name is Hilary and I'm one of the clinicians that works in gynaecology between Gold Coast and Robina. And if you're watching this, I suspect it's because you've been referred to our colposcopy clinic. Your GP will have referred you either because you've had an abnormal pap smear result or because they're a little bit concerned about the appearance of your cervix or some symptoms that you're experiencing. Having an abnormal pap smear creates a lot of anxiety in women, but please be reassured that an abnormal pap smear is exceptionally common, but cervical cancer is equally exceptionally rare. A colposcopy is a very straightforward, pain-free procedure that's not dissimilar to the pap smear that you've already experienced in your doctor's surgery. We'll get you to lie down on a couch, and then once your legs are placed in the leg rests, we insert a speculum into the vagina. Once it's opened, we use a colposcope, which is basically a pair of binoculars on a stand with a bright light to magnify the cervix up so as we can see it more clearly. We then paint on dilute vinegar, which turns any abnormal cells white as they drink up the protein. If the whiteness is very transparent or faint, then you're what I term a delightful fraud and we send you back to the GP for further management. If, however, the whiteness is denser, then we take a small biopsy to send to the laboratory so that they can tell us whether those cells are definitely likely to cause you harm in the future or not. A biopsy is reported by the laboratory as CIN in levels one to three. CIN1 is low-grade abnormality and likely to get better by itself and usually managed by the GP. CIN2 is a slightly higher grade of abnormality that depending on your personal wishes and childbearing age, may need further treatment or may be conservatively managed for a short period of time. CIN3 is a higher level of abnormality. It's not cancer, but it has more of a potential to become a cancer if left untreated over a long period of time. On the basis of that, we call you back for an outpatient procedure known as a loop excision of the transformation zone, or a LETS. A LETS is another pain-free outpatient procedure but it does fill everyone with a lot of anxiety. What will happen is you'll come back to the clinic and in exactly the same way, speculum will be passed, the dilute vinegar will be painted onto the cervix. We then give you some local anaesthetic so that you don't feel any pain at all. You may be aware of a slight sensation of pressure or heat, but definitely no pain. The local anaesthetic has some adrenaline in it, so what most women do become aware of is a slight racing of their heart or trembling of their legs that only lasts for 30 to 60 seconds. We then use a heated wire to remove the abnormal cells and then seal the wound to reduce your risks of infection and bleeding. It takes about three to four minutes to set up for the procedure and less than a minute to do. The healing process on the cervix takes three to four weeks. In that time, we advise you to abstain from sex, tampons, going to the gym, yoga, pilates, cycling, or horse riding. And if you have a helpful partner at home, you can also say we've advised no cooking, cleaning, washing, or ironing. We'll write to you with your results in two to three weeks' time, and then a pap smear is performed at an appropriate interval afterwards. Just remember, abnormal pap smears are very common. Colposcopy is daunting, but we are here to help you through the process.